around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Because you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd call you up. You've been going around, going around, going around every party in LA. Because you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd be at one. Oh, I know that dress is common, perfume and grand. You got me thinking about me. back with another video thank you so much for tuning in today's video is going to be a weird review on this piece right here yes this is the free trust equal lace deep invisible l part wig in the style kiss blossom this is a ball unit i had it in the color op27 it also comes in about six other colors including your regular colors like one one b two and four it also comes like a blue black um, a dark purple. It has a nice, uh, you know, array of colors for you guys to choose from. I chose this one because I have been loving color lately. I also want it in the number one and I want it in the blondest blonde that they have. I don't know which number that is on the stock card, but I'm pretty sure um, it's on here. Talking about the stock card, the picture actually does this wig justice this time. <laughs> I'm so used to the stock cards being like so far left with what the wig actually looks like till it's not even funny but this one actually does some justice now the wig itself in my opinion is not as full on me as it is on the stock card but you know it's not bad you know it looks like what the stock card says it looks like minus a little volume i guess you can say um as with all stock cards care instructions come on the back i'm gonna tell you how to wash it style it and what hair products you can use with it and it also tells you how to store it this unit is a synthetic unit, but it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. You guys already know where I stand with adding heat to synthetic wigs. It's not going to happen. I just don't think it's worth it. I think it changes the texture of the hair and it causes the wig to mess up just a tad bit um, faster than it would if you just left it the way it is. So let's get to the structure of the wig. This is your basic wig cap that they use to make this wig. It also comes with three cones. There are two on the side close to the front and then one in the back. It also has adjustable straps and side tabs to let you know where the side of the wig goes. Now I will say this about this wig. It did come with hard lace and I cut the lace pretty pretty close to the hair. So after cutting the lace, I did experience some shedding. However, it may have been because of how close to the hair I cut the lace. So um, I only experienced minor shedding and that may have had something to do with it. I've worn this wig all day and I have not experienced any tangling. And I honestly don't expect to with this type of wig. It is a bob unit um, and it's not long enough for it to actually tangle. Okay. The back is not as feathered or as layered as I would want it to be, but I'm fine with that. It has all of my little BBs because, you know, I ain't had a wash day in about two weeks. So I'm about due for one. But the one thing I will say that does bother me is how long the front of this wig is. I get the whole, you know, I get the style they were going for, but this is just too long for me. I would rather cut it about an inch or two so that it's not just sitting on top of my boobs. Like, seriously kind of annoying to me if you are not a middle part person then this bob will not be for you and the reason i say that is because this does not seem like the type of bob that you can shift to the side without having to do some major alterations to this wig everything will be uneven so i think that this wig was structured specifically to be a middle part wig now when it comes to the middle part i did not squeeze this wig at all i did not squeeze the part I literally added some concealer and some powder, blended it in really good, and I ended up with a very natural looking part. Now, if I wanted to go the extra mile and do the whole adding baby hairs and everything, I could have, but I'm lazy and I'm just not going through all that. So I just made the part look as natural as possible so I could just throw this on and go. If you want a quick wig that you do not have to do a lot of work to, this is the wig for you. Once you cut the lace, this wig is pretty much ready to go. I do think it is a very stylish wig. I was given sporty chic today when I wore this wig. Everybody complimenting me on this wig. Some people looking at my hair like, that looks good. Like, who did it? And I'm like, it's a wig, but thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of compliments on this wig. My supervisor stopped in her tracks when she saw me this morning and complimented me. I'm not going to say that that's not something that she does because it is. She, she usually does like 
you know, my wigs and whatnot. But this one really caught her eye. She was like, yeah, I really like that one. And I was like, yeah, I do too. I must admit that I'm not really accustomed to this, to hair this flat. But I like it. I like it. It's very simple, but it's very chic as well. And I think it may have something to do with the length of the front, but I'm sorry. I'm still going to cut off probably about two inches just to make it more wearable for me. The one thing that I do like about this middle part bob is that this is completely flat. Like, it doesn't... A lot of middle part wigs that I've tried to wear in the past never had a part that went back this far, number one. And number two, it always formed this hump right here. It always formed this hump right here. And some people say, oh, it has to do with how you have your real head underneath. No, I don't think it really has a lot to do with that. I think it's actually the structure of the wig. And this one, because my hair is not corn rolled under here, I, I'm, I'm, I'm damn near natural, to be completely honest with you. I haven't had a relaxer in forever. I'm damn, near, I'm damn near natural. And my hair is like a bush under here, and I literally just have on a wig cap. And when I put this on, I mean, the structure of the wig just went right with my hair. Like, I've been wearing wigs all week with my hair like this, and a lot of them had a hard time staying the way I put them on. A lot of them would, I would have to adjust during the day. I didn't have to do that with this one. So, if you corn roll your hair back or if you make your hair completely flat underneath the hair and then put the wig cap on and put this on, it may look even better than this. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about how you, you know, prefer to do it. But, I'm lazy and I just wanted to put something on and go. So, this is what I got. And I am I got this wig from wigtypes.com. It's going for about $27 on there. It is cheaper on a few other sites, but once you get finished paying taxes and shipping, you end up paying close to about $40 to $42 for this wig. I will have all of those links in the description bar below so you guys can check it out for yourself. I honestly really don't have anything else to say about this wig except for how much I love the color, how much I love the style. I will be ordering it in a 1B and also in the blondest blonde that I can find because I have just been loving color lady. And I know it's fall and I should be going darker, but blondes have more fun. So, <laughs> so that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, if you decide to check out this wig, please be sure to hashtag me on social media so that I can see your looks in it. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family and click that little bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video, okay? Go ahead and like. Please leave a comment because you know I love interacting with you guys. And I will catch you babies in my next video. Alright? Bye.